in the same clip, actually, with Jim Cornette, where he's discussing the promos, he's also asked, how come you were never considered uh, to be world champion? Uh, when was the closest you maybe got to world champion? And um, let's say the NWA world championship, were you ever considered for that? And maybe why were you passed over, do you think? Oh, when Barnett, when Barnett was, was running Georgia, and there, there, was a, there was a thought there, but I was never, I could never last. I was, I was no, I was definitely no flair. I would never, you know, be getting, getting on an airplane on Christmas Day to fly. It was too much. I had to get back. I guess I had to balance my life. I was lucky. I experienced, you know, all those highs, Madison Square Garden and the WrestleManias and the, the Fuji Vices and all those, you know, the Oprah Winfrey's. I, I was able to experience all those things. But to keep a, my, keep a balance to my life, I was, I was a full-time, when I wasn't there, when I was, was home, I was a full-time surfer. I was, you know, I was really, you know, I, and I wasn't bad. I was, you know, I was no Kelly Slater, that's for damn sure. But, you know, I was, you know, I was, you know, I was, you know, I was, I was known in all the, all the big spots, all the, all the familiar spots all over this island and, and all over the state. And, and, you know, people knew me, not only from wrestling, but previously from before surfing. So I was able to use surfing. And it's kind of kept me a little bit of balance as, as far as not going off way too deep and, and on the other hand it, it gave me an intense hatred for people places, places like minnesota and, and you know living in that type of you know canada or you know living away from the ocean and and and, and places like that so you know it would where it uh where it help where it helped give me life and renew me and strengthen me and, and take away a lot of uh hurts and, and ills and boo-boos and stuff that I got, it also, it, 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 it drew me, pulled me back as well as not being able to, the Briscoes were from Oklahoma. They came, you know, they lived in, you know, uh, they grew up near, you know, Indian reservations and Indian, in, Indian living and stuff. So they got to Florida, they bought, they were happy, you know, it was, it was great for them. People thought I had money. I didn't have money. I, you know, you, you give Hawaiian, you give Hawaiian a bag of poi, a bowl and a can of salmon, and he's rich. And, and of course, you have to have your quiver of surfboards for the year. You have your small wave board, your medium-sized board, and your big wave board. So you, you know you got you need three boards, you know your bag of poi, your can of salmon, and you're pretty much you are rich at that point. You know, so it wasn't. Uh, and I was able to come back here and take a couple months off, three four months off, from my humdrum on the road to get away and to come out here and surf these beautiful waves, Sunset Beach, and Olive and Pipeline and stuff. You know. And, and, you know, and, to, and really to know, to really sit there, no fear <laughs> and no death. When you're caught inside, you know, the 10, 12, 15 foot wave is breaking out in front of you and you, you, you got no place to go but down. You're just going, oh, I'll never do this again. I'll never get in this position again. And you get your board, you're right back out there. Same thing, <laughs> same, same position, same thing, same tears running down your same chills running up your spine and tears running down your side of your face. I'll never do this again. But you make it out and you go back. You make it through and you go again. So you're telling me that um, at the beginning of uh, of the question, you said that Jim Barnett, uh, there was a thought of making you world champion at one time. Did it have anything to do with you uh, topless on horseback and a photo? And he made that decision. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's, oh, that's my one, of the boy. Low in my, one of the low One of the low points of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but was it was it seriously uh, was it seriously brought up uh, that <laughs> y- your name was brought up in meetings and stuff? And were you like, how far along? Oh God, I, been? I have no idea. I have no. I just said just said, but uh, I was called called back in the Omni one night, and uh, and Jimsy was back there with his bottle of cognac. I said, oh, my boy, why don't you care for a sip of cognac? It's very expensive. I said, oh, uh, thanks, you know, thank you, Jim. No, you know, so. Andre was there. I just brought a bottle. So I got a bottle for him and brought it into the locker room. Maybe that's why he got a, he, he got, somebody must have stooged to him. You know, I said, you know, so I said, no. So I said, oh, uh, remember that per- picture you took up at Curtis's ranch where you with no shirt and had with the holding, holding the horses? I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> You don't happen to have any of those. I didn't even know where that one was. <laughs> but as I shrunk down into, you know, as I shriveled down smaller than Tom Thumb and just, uh, you know, 
hid in my own tears, drowned in one of my own tears. It was, you know, a couple was, of photos, and you could have been world champion. Who knows? But yeah, who knows? <laughs> well, we'll uh, we'll skip ahead on that yeah, one. And Christmas we'll, off, <laughs> Christmas off, Christmas off in Hawaii surfing. Mm-hmm.